Hi, my name is Justin Umtham and welcome to North American TV. When you're deciding to move, one of the most common questions that come up today is, should I move myself and forget the help of professionals? Or should I risk paying more to hire a moving company to help me move? Well, the answer can actually be different for everyone depending on time, budget, schedule, and complexity of the move. While you may think moving yourself saves you extra cost in hiring professionals, this isn't always the case and can often add more money, unnecessary stress, to your move. So when it comes to moving, when is it best to do it yourself and when is it best to hire a moving company? Watch this video and find out. Before you can really make comparisons between do-it-yourself moving versus hiring professional movers, it's a good idea to decide what your top priority is out of time, budget, and schedule. These three factors are particularly important to look at and will help you come to a smarter, more satisfying decision. Let's outline the process. First, ask yourself how much you have to move. The number of items you need moved and the weight of each of these items will greatly affect the cost related with both do-it-yourself moving and professional moving. If you decide to go it alone and hire a moving truck yourself, the cost will increase for the truck size needed. And if you decide to hire a moving company, the amount and weight of each item will increase your cost as well. After deciding on the amount of items needed to move, look at how far you're moving. When moving yourself, you will factor not only the cost associated with renting a truck, but calculate gas and mileage. Hiring a professional mover doesn't require you to calculate either of these. Now that you have those two questions answered, it's time to call up some moving companies and compare do-it-yourself costs to moving company costs. Remember, it's important to receive at least three different in-home estimates from reputable moving companies in order to have a fair comparison and make the smartest decision. Once you receive that information, you can easily compare how much it would cost to move it yourself or how much a typical moving company will charge you for your move. But is cost all you're concerned about? What about timing and schedule comparisons? It's important to know how much time you're looking at with a do-it-yourself move versus what the moving company can offer. You need to ask yourself questions such as how much time will it take you to pack, load, and unload your items as well as how long will it take you to drive to your new destination. How many friends do you have that are willing to help you do these tasks and confident in their ability to pack your fragile items safely? By answering each of these questions, you will have a better understanding of the schedule and timing you will be looking at in terms of moving yourself. Keep in mind that moving companies have the expertise when moving fragile items and can usually pack items up more efficiently and with more manpower. So now that we've gone over a couple questions you should ask yourself before deciding to move on your own or move with a professional moving company, let's dive a little deeper into the different aspects of each. Let's talk about do-it-yourself moving first. If you decide to go with this method of moving, be sure you're in good physical health before even attempting. Do-it-yourself moving demands heavy lifting and long hours and should never be done by someone who isn't of good physical health. Also, although this method of moving sometimes saves you money, it doesn't always save you time. Think about the amount of packing, loading, and unloading required for your move and decide if it's worth it when comparing with a moving company. Now let's talk about hiring a professional moving company to do the work. One of the most valuable aspects that a moving company can offer versus moving on your own is time. While it most likely will take you a day or two to pack, another day or two to load, and another day or two to unpack, a moving company has the ability to do it all in one day. Another advantage of having a moving company move your items is that they are more equipped and skilled when it comes to moving your larger items, such as furniture and other valuables. Moving your items safely and efficiently are all part of a mover's job, and because they have years of experience, they will most likely be able to pack, load, and unpack your items in half the time it would take if you were to do it. So now that you know the difference between do-it-yourself moving and hiring a professional moving company, ask yourself those questions and really decide what's important when it comes to your big day. Thanks for watching. With North American TV, I'm Justin Umpham wishing you a safe and easy move.